been so long um, since I've done a video like this. I was having some camera issues. Um, well, what I thought were camera issues, but in actuality they were SD card issues. All I needed was a new SD card. I have apparently worn my old one out. So here I am. This is the mini that I made for the swap over at LSH. My partner is Joanne Greathead, and um, she lives in the UK, so I'm very excited to send her a Halloween mini, and I really, really hope she likes it. I had a ton of fun. Um, I'm going to do a little bit closer, I think, because there's a lot of details. Um, this was a big rose that was originally orange, and I wanted a big black flower here. So I sprayed it, and I ripped the middle out, and this is a, a little Jolie's Scully, which I thought was really cool. Let's see if we can get a little better focus. Sorry about the glare. And then this is an old uh, Making Memories flower with a skull. And this was a Creative Imaginations brad. It's a velvet brad. It's really cool. And I dutied up the um, leaves with some stickles, a little plastic spider, a homemade stick pen. All the paper and stickers in here are from the Apothecary Collection, uh, which I think is one of the more popular Halloween lines this year. I know I love it. And I did Bona's trick with putting my stickers on chipboard. So I had some chipboard accents. And this is actually um, gauze or cheesecloth that I hand dyed. And then I've rubbed all kinds of glimmer glaze and ink and stuff all over everything. This is a little punch that was a gift. It was just black paper punch and I put some stickles on it. So um, that's the cover. I'll try to stay on frame for you here. And then inside the front cover, it's really simple. This is one of the stickers from the collection, a little orange spider, and these were actually sent to me by Elise Roy. Um, she was adorable and sent me a little rack for no reason. Um, this is a Prima flower, and I love these Prima flowers. Um, and these are just some mini tags held together with this really cool brad, and the brad is from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, but the tags are the Apothecary Collection paper. And they're cut out with a Tim Holtz mini tag die. And then this page. I love um, the Baroque die from Tim Holtz. I don't own this die, but I borrowed it from a friend of mine and cut it out of some of the wordy paper in the collection. This is some tape that one of my friends, I, I put this together at a crop, and so one of my friends had this tape that was this awesome mask like cello tape just regular cello tape um, and so I put some of that on the striped paper and I want to show you these leaves started as just white paper and I cut them out of the tattered leaves dye which I also don't own I had to borrow it um, but then I inked and sprayed them until they looked they looked to me like real leaves so I was really happy and there's another one of those prima flowers and then there's a little tab from the collection here that says Halloween that I put on the tab of the mini. And on this next page, sorry, when I hold up some of the tags in the back slide out. But there's a, a little frame here, which was a sticker from the collection. Um, and so I just slid a tag in there, that flower came to me, uh, the, well, the flower is a Recollections flower stuck on top of a Prima flower that I colored, and then that butterfly was also from Elise. And then this tag, of course, is made from paper in the collection, and then just some twiny, stiff um, thread material. I got it out of the ribbon section at my local thrift store thrift store, local scrapbook store, and there's another one of those orange spiders, and there's some Tim Holtz tissue tape, and then on the back there's a little sticker um, that I put on chipboard from the collection. I'm not sure that's focused. Oh yeah, it is focusing. But anyway, like I said, I love this collection. She can put a photo in here, and then um, it can be revealed, or she can just put a photo over here. Um, and then it can also be revealed when you pull the tag. And so, 
this is the next page. I'm just going to pull those up for now. This is the next page. Gosh, I just love all these papers so much. Um, this is a sticker that I put on chipboard. And this is a sticker that I just adhered to the paper. And then the collection had a lot of little fun tags, so that's one of those. And then this is just a folder shape um, die that I have, a Sizzix die. And I tied a little um, twine around it. I thought it looked very, very cute. And then, oh, here's where the text came out. So here's another page that's very similar. It's got another one of those Making Memories flowers. This is a sticker. Both of these are stickers I put on chipboard. And then that one I just adhered to the paper. And then another one of those file folder die cuts. And that sticker is popped up. So that um, this tag that I cut from the paper collection can actually be held in two places. Like that. Which I thought was cute. And then here is um, this embellishment I made. I actually received a gift at the crop. It was a little bat pin. Like a pin to wear. A hand painted, toll painted, gorgeous little bat my friend Pam made. Uh, Pam from LSH, and then I went inside and made a flower from Tim Holtz tissue tape and then stuck three little Recollections roses and then a Halloween stick pen. And then this is also um, one of the stickers from the collection, and these are tags from the collection, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, this is a sticker from the collection that I just put on a regular little mini clip that I had and so there's a couple of little three little tags um, from the collection that she could put photos on the back of and then let's see <clears throat> this other page has just a photo mat another baroque shaped photo mat I'm sorry I keep knocking stuff over um, this is a little cameo that I actually just bought off of eBay. I bought a bag of them. Some more gauze and some feathers. And this was fussy cut out of one of the other papers from the collection. And I stuck it on the this page. And then the sticker here says, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. I don't know if you can read it. Um, but it's really cute. And then here is the last page, and I made this stick pen, and this skeleton, the skull, came off of one of those little plastic rings like the spiders I've used. This was a sticker from the collection, and this is a little pull-out um, trifold that has, you know, some stickers from the collection and some lace stuck on it. I love this grid paper inside. And then there's a little flag that says 31. Um, you know, for October 31st. And um, so that's really it. I can show you the back. I did put a big sticker on the back that I like. And I bound it with these awesome uh, cables. I think Bona used these. I'm not sure where I saw these. Um, but I put this big sticker on the back and then I'm going to sign and date it right here. But these are cables from Seven Gypsies and I have to tell you for bonding my chunky money it worked great. Uh, I'm already ready to go get some more of them because I like them so much. But that is my mini for Joanne and I really hope she likes it. But thanks for watching and have a great day.